굿모닝 시카고 함께하고 계십니다. 오늘 굿모닝 시카고 초대석에는 아주 특별한 분을 모셨습니다. 이순신 만화 이순신의 작가이신 온니 콤판 씨께서 함께 하셨습니다. Welcome. <웃음> 안녕하세요. <웃음> <웃음> also, your Korean I mean improved better than before. Well, you know, if uh, I can't change when uh, circumstances demand it, how can I expect others to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 아, 또 지난번에 뵀을 때보다 또 한국말도 더 잘하시게 되고 이렇게 된것 같습니다. So, how have you been? Everything has been uh, very good. Uh-huh. Uh, we're finally releasing the uh, Korean translation of uh, Yi Sun Shin. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, so um, in two weeks, on November 19th, I will be uh, in Seoul for the launch of the book. Oh. And uh, we're going to be... Uh, I'm donating uh, a portion of my royalties to a charitable cause, and we're going to be uh, raising awareness uh, about suicide because, oh. uh, as of today, uh, South Korea has the fourth highest suicide rate in the world, and uh, there are studies that show that if uh, this particular issue is not handled, mm. uh, that the entire culture could be extinct by the year uh, 2750. Oh. So uh, I'm going to be using um, Yi Sun Shin as a... a as a symbol to encourage people to get help, not just in South Korea, but the world. And um, I think it's a very powerful message, and I hope that um, it will help people in, in mm. South Korea. 자, 이제 그 어떻게 지내셨는지 물어봤고요. 잘 지내신다고 얘기를 하시고 이 이순신 한국어 판이 나왔다고 합니다. 이참 사실 조금 좀 희한하다는 생각이 들기는 좀 약간 이상하다는 생각이 들긴 하는데요. 이순신 한국어 판이 나와서 어 노벨벌 그러니까 11월 19일에 주주 정도 있으면 한국을 방문하신다고 합니다. 그래서 서울에 가시게 되고요. 어 서울에 가셔서 이제 출판 기념회를 네, 진행을 하시는데 여기에서 나오는 수익금의 일부를 자살 방지를 위한 이런 단체에 기부를 하시려고 하고 있습니다. 어, 알, 알, 어 본인이 알기로는 이 한국이 세계에서 네 번째로 이 자살률이 높은 나라로 알고 있는데 이 젊은 세대들에게 이런 자살을 방지하는 어떤 이런 행사에 자기가 좀 도움을 되고 싶고 또 서로 좀 인커 그러니까 도움을 서로 간에 도움을 줄수 있도록 이 격려하고 싶은 그런 마음에서 어 이런 행사를 준비했다고 하십니다. I mean, for me, like when, when I translate it, like kind of mm. feel like weird because I said like the Isunshin, the cartoon will be translated in Korean. It mm. is, mm-hmm. but actually, the Isunshin is Korean. Yeah, because 제가 지금 말씀드린 게 제가 지금 말을 하면서 이게 한국말로 번역이 된다 했는데 사실 이순신 장군은 저희 한국 분인데 이거를 한국말로 트랜스레이트 한다니까 번역한다는 얘기가 조금 좀 희한하게 들린다라는 그런 얘기를 좀 해드렸습니다. Isn't it? Isn't it weird? For I mean, could mm. be right. It, it could. I understand where yeah. you're coming from 100. Mm-hmm. percent But uh, the way I I really want people to see this is uh, this is uh, a Western take on Eastern culture. Mm. Yes, this is Yi Sun Shin, and we've done uh, an incredible amount of work to make sure that Yi Sun Shin, as a historical figure, remains intact. Mm-hmm. You know the the essence of who he was remains intact because mm-hmm. we're telling a real story and this is a really delicate subject matter. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, you know, our book doesn't gloss over any of the things that, um, you know, he did as, as uh, you know, Korea's greatest hero. So um, we, we really wanted to make sure that uh, we, we handled this right. And bringing it to Korea now, it's, uh, there, it's now Korea's opportunity to finally see what we've been working on. Mm-hmm. But this is a project that has been made for the world market. My mm-hmm. objective with Yi Sun Shin is to make it uh, known and appreciated throughout the world. I want everybody in the entire planet to know who Yi Sun Shin is uh-huh. and to appreciate it. And um, this is why I committed myself completely to making sure that the artwork and that the storytelling in um, this book is top notch mm-hmm. and it may not be it may feel foreign to some Korean people because we did make <laughs> some changes you know oh, okay. like some of the um, uniforms are not uh, the way they look and and the way they actually looked in reality mm-hmm. and maybe some of the dialogue might be different but we did this because um, most American people mm-hmm. uh, and other people who are not Korean you know they don't know who Yi Sun Shin was. They can't even pronounce the name. Even some of my, my biggest fans still <laughs> call the book Yi Shu Shi or Yi Shu Shin. <laughs> you know, uh, I want people to be able to, uh, you know, pronounce these names perfectly. And there's no reason why they can't. I mean, everybody goes to uh, see a Star Wars movie and they can all pronounce these awkward names like Obi-Wan Kenobi or, you know, 
Uh, Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks, exactly. So it's not that (laughs) difficult. It's just a matter of helping people break those uh, barriers. Mm -hmm. And we do it through our storytelling, Mm -hmm. through color coding of our characters, through um, making characters that um, readers actually want to learn about. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's that's really what what our goal has been with this series Mm -hmm. from the get-go. Okay, 제가 이제 여쭤본 게, 아, 그, <웃음> 아까 제가 얘기한 그게 좀 약간 이상하지 않습니까? 한국, 사, 한국말로 돼서 이렇게 대, 번역을 한다는 게, 드니, 아, 100% 이해하신다고. 근데, 어, 사람들이 보기를 원하시는 거, 이제 오니콤판 씨께서 어, 의도하시는 거는, 그, 그냥 우리가 알고 있는 이순신 양군에 대한 것 뿐만 아니라, 이 서양 사람들의 관점에서 동향을 바라보는, 그니까, 그, 전혀 관계가 없는 사람인데, 이 이야기를 듣고 이순신 양군을 바라보는 관점에서, 어떤 관점을 가지고 바라보는지를 한국 사람들이 알았으면 좋겠다라고 하는 거죠. 사실 이순신 장군도 사실이고 앞 일어났던 모든 일들도 사실의 배경에서 어 만들게 된 거다라는 이야기고요. 다른 거를 이야기하는 것이 아니라 실제 일어났던 일들, 그러니까 한국의 영웅으로서 이순신 장군을 올바르게 알게 하기 위한 것이 아 목적이다라는 거고요. 단순히 그냥 이렇게 어 작은 마켓이 아니라 전 세계를 향해서 가지고 있는 포부가 있다. 이순신을 알리고자 하는. 그리고 그래서 많은 사람들이 이순신을 알, 이순신 장군을 알고 그리고 감사할 수 있는 그런 어떤 어, 기회로 삼기를 원한다라고 이야기를 하셨습니다. 그래서 시, 특별히 신경을 쓰신 게 이제 아트워크, 그러니까 어떻게 그림에 대한 것도 신경을 많이 쓰셨고 또 전체적인 이야기 부분에 대해서도 신경을 많이 쓰셨는데 바뀐 것도 좀 있다고 합니다. 어떤 거냐면은 군복, 그러니까 그 유니폼들 있지 않습니까? 이제 이런 것들이 조금 어, 옛날 거와 조금 다르게 바뀌었을 수도 있고 대화체 같은 경우도 아마 보시기에 조금 다르게 느끼실 수도 있다라고 어, 하는데요. 그 이유는 뭐냐면은 이 한국 사람이 아닌 사람들, 미국 사람들을 피워, 피워, 포함해서 어, 이순신 장군이 누군지 모르는 것 또한 어, 뭐 그건 둘째 치고라도 발음도 제대로 못 한다고 이순신이라고 하는 이름에 대해서 발음 제대로 못 한다라고 하는 건데 뭐 스타워즈에 나오는 이상한 이름들을 뭐 들도 사실상 다 발음을 하는데 왜 이순신 장군의 이름을 제대로 발음하지 못하냐라고 생각했을 때 아, 사실 이제 거기에 벽이 있는 거다라고 하는 거고요. 이런 벽을 깬다면 어 모두가 다알수 있는 어 그런 이제 이순신 장군으로서 설수 있다라고 하는 것에 대해서 본인이 노력을 하고 있다고 이렇게 이야기를 해주셨습니다. So how the what how many books does the uh, Isunshin has like mm. uh, how many total? That's a wonderful question. So Isunshin is broken up into uh, a 12 issue mini series. Oh. There it's actually a trilogy. So um, each uh, four issues make up its own individual arc. So again, let's take the Star Wars. Uh, you know. Okay. Example, you know, you have the first four books making up the first chapter of mm-hmm. the, the arc, the first part of the trilogy. Right. Then the second part being the next four issues, and mm-hmm. then finally, uh, third you part. have the, la- the last part. Right. Mm-hmm. So right now we uh, we're working on the uh, fourth issue of the second arc, which is where we're going to be uh, tackling the Battle of Myeongyang. Oh. And uh, we recently did a crowdfunding campaign for it, which was uh, extraordinarily successful. Um, not only did it allow us to stay in production mm-hmm. after uh, I, I had an investor pull out of the series unexpectedly, oh. but um, it also got me in the door with um, Soul Cultural Publishers, who's now going to be uh, distri- publishing and distributing the book. And they just uh, printed up a proof yesterday. They showed me over um, email, mm-hmm. and it looks beautiful. The, pro- the, the book that we're releasing in Korea, this is a superior product. It's <laughs> better than the U.S. edition, and for a few reasons we've done, we've remastered the files so that um, the colors are going to be brighter and more vibrant, and this is just really a treat, and uh, I can't wait to present it to the Korean people. I, I'm very, very proud of this. Mm. 이제 제가 이제 그 여쭤봐. So you have like 12 different stories, right? The 12 yeah, different 12 issues, yeah. Each yeah. each issue handles a different um, battle or event. Uh, so, so now you're focusing on Myeongyang. Yeah, right now we're Did you see the movie Myeongyang? Yes, actually <laughs> I did. Um uh, we were we were actually uh, I was uh, hired as a consultant for the movie. Oh, really? Did, um did they you? they pretty much paid me to come out to Korea and oh, okay. you know, which was really great and uh there's a picture floating around on the internet of Choi Min Sik holding up my book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that was cool. I, it was very unexpected. Um, a, a friend of mine who's uh, he's a he's a film director uh-huh. and producer. Um, you know, he was he was kind enough to to arrange and get that p- that picture taken. And it was kind of funny because when uh, Choi Min Sik saw the book, he had actually known about it already. You mean Choi Min Sik, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Choi, right? Mr. Choi Min Sik. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, he already he had already known about it. So that <laughs> that was really cool and. Um, I'm really happy about the success of, uh, you know, the Admiral and, mm-hmm. and Korea. And we have, they have, they've done, uh, they've, 
they've done well by their word because uh, I was really worried when that movie would come out that they would take something from what oh, we've done. I see. But they they truly made their own movie. And it's their own vision, yeah. and it's great. And uh, you know, now we're going to be doing our own our own thing. Mm-hmm. And I want to take it uh, a bit further by um, leading by example and doing things that you know Admiral Yi would would do. And you know, I always felt that. Eastern Shin never really uh, fought the Japanese. He mm-hmm. he fought for Korea's future. Mm-hmm. The Japanese were merely, uh, you know, an, an obstacle in his path. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, this is why I'm I'm I feel like it's important to get behind uh, the uh, you know uh, this charity and to make sure that people understand in Korea that they can get help because mm-hmm. you have students going to school seven days a week. They're overworked and you know they get to the point where they feel like if they're failing an exam, they their only option is to commit suicide. Well, that's mm. that's not true. You know, they, there's ways there's a ways around it. You, just because you fail a test doesn't mean you've failed at life. In fact, mm. um, Yi Sun Shin failed all of his mil- he failed his military exam. He fell off his horse and broke his leg. Mm. But then he got back on his horse and he um, he finished the exam and he still failed it. But eventually, he became the admiral of Korea mm. and uh, of the Korean Navy and. You know, these kinds of things happen in people's lives. Like, I failed as much as I've succeeded. I've failed so many times, and it's all just a part of success. So mm-hmm. if I can get that message across to the people of Korea and encourage them to get help, mm-hmm. uh, I, I feel like that will, be, uh, that will be an immense victory. And not only that, it would also help sell the book. So, mm-hmm. you know, these kinds of things are very important. And uh, d- just so we know, uh, just so everybody knows, the charity organization that I'm working with is... Um, uh, loveaid.org, but they have a specific subsector that deals with depression. I see. And it's called uh, council24.com. It's C-O-N, uh, C-O-U-N-S-E-L-24.com. So it's www.c-o-u-n-s-e-l-24.com. And if people are, if people, if people who are listening to this know someone in Korea who's depressed or needs help, Please have them go to this site immediately. Have them seek the help they need. 음. 저희 이제 그 여러 가지 좀 여쭤봤습니다. 12개 시리즈로 된 책이 나와 있고 현재는 네 번째 이슈에 대해서 어 지금 작업을 하고 있고 명량 해전에 대한 이야기를 하고 있습니다. 중간에 좀 어려운 일이 많이 있으셨더라고요. 예. 그래서 어 갑작스럽게 이 투자자가 이 투자금을 회수하고 하는 바람에 어좀 어려웠었는데 이 크라우드 펀딩을 통해서 어 충분한 또그 펀드 레이징을 할 수가 있었다라고 그렇게 말씀을 하셨습니다. 어 여러 가지 특별히 이 한국에서 이번에 판매 이제 파, 제, 출간되는 작품의 경우는 어이 미국 보다 훨씬 더 좋게 작업을 했다고 하고요. 뭐 색깔이라든지 선명도라든지 여러 가지가 훨씬 더 좋은 이제 그런 어 책이 한국에서 나오게 된다고 합니다. 본인들이 생각할 때 이순신 장군이 일본과 싸웠다라고 생각한다기보다는 한국의 미래를 위해서 싸웠다라고 생각을 한다 이렇게 말씀을 해 주셨고요. 어 사실상 저는 이제 궁금한 것이 그거였습니다. 왜 이렇게 그어 이런 어떤 자살을 자살 방지를 위한 아, 어, 이런, 그, 커뮤니티, 이런, 자, 단체를 왜 돕나 생각을 했는데, 어, 이순신 장군 자체가 아시다시피 여러 번 이런 실패를 겪고, 어, 막 좌절을 겪었지만 결국 한국의 영웅이 됐지 않았습니까? 이제 그런 것처럼, 어, 시험에 한번 잘못, 시험을 한번 잘못 봤다고 해서, 뭐, 시험에 떨어졌다고 해서, 대학에 합격하지 못했다고 해서, 어, 그것이 사실상 이 인생의 끝이 아니다라고 하는 걸좀 알려주고 싶고요. 어, 이 실패도 영, 이, 어떻게 보면 성공의 일부다. 아, 실패도 성공의 일부다라고 하는 거, 어, 이런 것들을 좀 알려주고 싶다라고 그렇게 말씀을 하셨습니다. 그리고 혹시라도 한국에서 우울, 좀 우울증이라든지 이런 가지, 여러 가지 때문에 힘들어하고 있는 청소년이 있다면 방금 말씀드렸던 그 웹사이트를 방문할 수 있도록 해주시면, 어, 여러 가지로 좀 도움을 받을 수 있고, 지, 지금 바로 도움을 받으시는 것이 필요하겠다라고 그렇게 강조를 하셨습니다. So the old the stories are not done yet, but you have stories, but not, not like a draw yet. Yeah, they're, we're working on it right now. So um, my my artist, uh, he he had to step away for a couple months to take care of some personal issues. Okay. But he's back at the helm of the book now. We're now about <laughs> five pages into the forty-eight page conclusion of Fallen oh. Avenger Four. <laughs> okay. So um, we're 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 doing everything um, step by step because the way we are doing this comic is um, we want 
everybody we're working for print essentially mm-hmm. because digital sales everybody talks about digital but it's not the technology is mm-hmm. not quite there yet people still like to have things in print because they like to have their books yes, signed. yes i do right exactly <laughs> right you know so yeah. I, and i'm the same way and i know many other customers that i have at conventions that feel the same way and some of them like digital too so it's always great to have both options sure. oh, absolutely so when um you whenever you look at uh, a spread in any eastern Shin comic that we have out mm-hmm. what you'll notice is is that that um, the uh, spreads of every page, even if it's not a double page spread, it's meant to be a certain way. Mm -hmm. So everything is drawn. You don't see panels being repeated. You don't see figures being repeated. You see everything flowing at all times. And if you really want to look at it, um, every single spread is its own mural. You know, this is really a work of art. And Mm -hmm. we spend days, sometimes weeks, making sure that uh, not only are we telling a story but that the art is detailed and that people can clearly tell who they're looking at and what's going on. Because back in, uh, you know, the Chosen Dynasty, everybody pretty much looked the same. You know, mm. King Sanjo <laughs> and Yisun <laughs> yeah. uh, Shin almost looked identical. And I'm not saying that they, they looked identical in the sense that they were uh, the same person. They're very different people. And mm. that's the point is that, you know, you don't want people who know nothing at all about Yisun Shin to get confused by these kinds of things. You want them to be able to immediately understand this is Yisun Shin or this is Wan Kyun or, you know, this is a Japanese general. Mm-hmm. These things need to be made very clear because, you know, Asian history is very rich and it's very deep. And there's so many nuances that um, us uh, American people can't really catch on to immediately. <coughs> so, Breaking that, breaking those barriers, and making sure people can understand these things in the most simplified manner—that mm-hmm. is—that is our job to tell the best story we possibly can within the time that we have to tell it, which is 24 pages usually. Mm-hmm. Um, even with *Fallen Avenger 4*, which is a double-sized book, we have to handle the battle of <laughs> Myung Yang for nearly half the book, mm-hmm. and we have to tell this battle in a very uh, clear way because one of the things uh, that I I noticed is um, the TV show, the Bumuli uh-huh. um, had, uh, you know, they, they told, they told their uh, version of the story one way and then Roy Currents did it another way. And what I really want to make sure of is that people can actually look at the images we draw and know exactly how the battle <laughs> of Myung Yang was fought so that they can understand just how amazing a victory that is. Because it's just, it's truly one of the most amazing battles ever fought in history. Right. Not one person that I have spoke to <laughs> about Yi Sun Shin has ever said that he's, he's not cool. He's awesome because he just, he, he won all these incredible these insane battles, you know, and he was outnumbered every single time. <웃음> 제가 이제 아직까지 다 탈고가 된건 아니다라고 말씀을 드렸는데요. 지금 사실상 그 프린트를 위해서 작업을 하고 있다고 합니다. 그러니까 디지털이 아니라 실제로 이제 책을 종이에 프리, 이제 인쇄가 되는 인쇄물로 나오고 나오려고 작업을 하고 있고요. 인쇄물을 원하는 사람들이 많이 있다라고 하는 거죠. 그래서 디지털과 인쇄물로 된 직접 책을 두개다 지금 현재 아, 하려고 합니다. 이순신 이 만화를 보면요 반복되는 장면이 없답니다. 무슨 말이냐면은 보통은 왜 같은 장면이 반복이 되면은 앞에 썼던 장면을 그냥 카피 페이스트 해갖고 뒤에 걸 똑같이 쓰는데 그런 게 없이 모든 장면을 다 그리고 있다고 합니다. 뭐 이야기만 있는 것이 아니라 모든 디테일에도 굉장히 많이 신경을 쓰고 있는 이유가 이게 이제 미국 사람들의 입장이겠죠. 조선 왕조를 볼때 왕이나 뭐 이순신이나 원균이나 일본 장군이나 이렇게 뭐다 같아 보일 수 있다고 한다는 거죠. 그냥 미국 사람들이 봤을 때. 근데 이 사람들이 다르다는 거 정말 아 보다 더 자세하고 확실한 것들을 보여주기 위해서 노력을 하고 있다라고 하는 건데요. 이 미국 사람들이 이런 것들을 딱 캐치할 수 있도록 아주 좀 단순한 작업을 하면서도 여러 가지를 이제 신경을 써서 디테일하게 작업을 하고 있다라고 하는 거죠. 그래서 본인도 불면의 이순신까지 보셨다고 이렇게 이야기를 하고 있습니다. Wow, time goes fly like I have one minute left. <웃음> do you have any other last word for our audience? Um, yes, uh, I do. And um, I, I just wanted to stress again um, to, uh, if they need help, to please come to www.counsel24.com. Get the help you need. And uh, before I leave, I just want to say one more thing. I hope you, our Korean listeners will understand. Singredir uh, Wihaya. What is that? Singredir Wihaya. Singredir? Yeah. Uh, 
Onward to victory. <웃음> 아, <웃음> 승리를 위하여. Yeah, I see. Yeah. <웃음> <웃음> 네, 지금 다시 한번 말씀하시는데 It's in council24.org? dot com dot com, dot com. Okay, yeah, dot com. Yeah, yeah. I see yeah yeah council uh, council twenty four dot com 으로 가시면 도움 받으실 수 있다고 한번 더 강조를 해 주셨습니다. 어뭐 지금 말씀을 여러 가지 해 주셨는데요. 상당히 이 책을 통해서 하시고자 하는 이야기가 많고 참 귀한다 귀하다라고 생각이 되는 이유가. 한국 사람도 아니고 타민족에 의해서 다시금 조명되는 이순신 장군 타, 타이밍적으로도 굉장히 좋은 타이밍이 아닐까라는 생각이 드는데 하여튼 좋은 결과가 한국에서 있기를 바라겠습니다. I hope you have great success or great results from the Korea visit. 감사합니다. 네, 자 지금까지 이순신 장군 만화 작가 온니콤판 씨께서 함께해 주셨습니다. Thank you for coming. 감사합니다. Thank you.